In the next short video I am going to show you how to use the Softel period tracker. After installing the app, we open it. At the login page, by pushing a new button you can create your own account. In the future of course you only have to log in with your email and password. Here, please answer three simple questions for the initial cycle setting. The app will be fine adjusting based on your future period cycle that you have recorded. So please set the exact date of your last period's first day if you know it, and tap OK. If you are mistaken by one or two days, that's not an issue. If you don't know the exact date, choose at least how many weeks ago it started. Then you set the number of days your average bleeding lasts for. Then tap Next button. And at last set the number of days your cycle lasts for. That's the number of days counted from the first day of your period to the first day of your next period. I am setting 28 days in my case, you set your own number. Next button. Here you can set your most important reminders. Let's start with the before period reminder. You can set sound or vibration or both to all of your reminders. Every reminder has its own specific messages but you can customize them any time to your liking. You can set when you want to get the reminder before your period. And what time on that day. By setting them it's already activated. The period late reminder has top priority. You should definitely activate it. Here, I suggest to set a no more than 2 or 3 days late option. If you care about your ovulation, your fertile days and the birth control pill reminders, you can set them just the way I did. After the following registration you will find further reminders in the more menu. At reminders. So tap next button. Here you can create your own account. Type your username. Your email. Give a password. Repeat the password. And by pushing the next button your registration is done. Here you can immediately see the default illustration of your current cycle. Based on the information you just gave. The tip of the inner drop shape indicates the actual day. The text within it indicates the next cycle event. You can also move the tip at the drop to the left for the past, to the right for the future events. The PMS initial in the white cloud indicates the days of premenstrual syndromes. Under the illustration you can find the actual daily reminders. After you acknowledge or get them done, you have to get rid of them by tapping on the check mark on the right side. If you swipe them out from the front screen of your phone, the app does not consider them done. Just make them disappear from your eyes. You have to add your daily events in the calendar menu to the actual or past days. If you can, it is better to add those events on the actual day, later you might forget them. The events are Bleeding Pain Sex Fluid Mood And personal note Recording and looking back at events will help you get to know you're the symptoms of your own psyche and body related to your cycle. So you will not make false conclusions about physical and psychological signs when they are repeatedly linked to a certain phase of your cycle. In the calendar menu you can add events by double clicking the green marked actual day. Or by clicking the plus icon above left. By clicking the bleeding, you can select its strength. By choosing one, you already registered it. By clicking pain button, you can select the type you are having. More than one, if so. By clicking sex you can choose from three kinds. Based on security level. In the case of daily multiple sex, you only have to choose the lowest security level one. By clicking fluid you choose its type, and it's done. This information might be important for your gynecologist as well, so always bring this app to your appointment. 
By clicking mood you can choose what kind you have, if so. By clicking note you can add your personal notes, such as the result of a vaginal pH test, or being ill, or taking any kind of bill, etc. If you forgot to record any event in the past, you can do it later. Please note that you cannot record future events because they won't happen for sure. By clicking history menu, you can see your average cycle on the top and the previous ones below. In the beginning, the app shows your cycle based on the information you gave in the beginning. But later when you have recorded more and more cycles the app will fine adjust its predictions based on those. The more information you record, the more accurate the app will be. That is why it's so important to record at least the days of your period. Here, by clicking one particular cycle, you can recall its detailed list of events. That can be very useful for you or your gynecologist. If one of your cycles was unusual due to an unusual event, such as an illness, an operation or pregnancy and so on, you can ignore that particular cycle from the app's calculations by first clicking on it and then clicking the Ignore This Cycle field above. From this moment, this cycle will remain on the timeline. But its color will be faded to gray and its information will not be calculated in the average cycle. This can be reactivated any time. In the More menu right below you can find all of the reminders. Those you already activated. And those you didn't encounter so far. Check them again. Set and activate to those you want to receive reminders for. Now let's do it with Fertile Days Reminder. I set it as an active reminder. You can find the Add New Reminder down below. Here you can add any reminder you may want, such as the next appointment with your doctor, and so on. You can set pin lock on your app so that nobody else can open your app, even if your phone is in other people's hands. We hope our app will help you understand better your physical and emotional reactions, achieving or avoiding pregnancy, serve as a help for your doctor's diagnosis. Soft tell. Love the woman in you.